Kuwait. Officially the state of Kuwait is a sovereign Arab Emirate located in the northeastern Arabian Peninsula in Western Asia. It is bordered by Saudi Arabia to the south and Iraq to the north. Capital punishment in Kuwait is legal. Hanging is the method of choice for civilian executions. However, shooting is a legal form of execution in certain circumstances. Kuwait is not the only Gulf country that permits the death penalty across the region. Other countries such as Bahrain, Iran, Saudi Arabia, and the UAE also use capital punishment. The long list of capital crimes under Kuwaiti civilian law includes premeditated murder, terrorism giving and death, perjury resulting in an innocent execution, destroying buildings belonging to the government or those known to be inhabited, rape, kidnapping, drug trafficking, and espionage. After a person is sentenced to death in a Kuwaiti court, their case is automatically reviewed by the appellate court, of whom take into consideration the crime, evidence reviewed by the court, the previous convictions of defendant and other factors. If the Court of Appeal rejects this appeal, then they go to the Court of Cassation of which is the highest governing legal body in the country. Once it has been reviewed, the Emir of Kuwait must approve of the sentence. Once this occurs, an execution order is issued by the Chief Justice, specifying the date, time, place and method of the execution, of which is given to the prosecutor. Prisoners are held in solitary confinement until the day of their execution, where they are transported to the execution ground. At about 8 o'clock, prisoners are hooded with a black hood, unlike the British-style white hood, and their arms and legs are pinioned. New steel gallows were fitted in the early 2000s and have been used for executions since then. A noose is put around their neck with a knot below the ear and the trap door is opened. They are given measured drops in order to break their necks, a development of the method practiced in the United Kingdom. The press and public are allowed to view the bodies after the execution. The press have been reported to publish images of the dead bodies in newspapers to serve as a deterrent against crime. On September 5, 2024 carried out the death sentences issued against six individuals who were convicted of murder in the first hangings in the country in two years. Their names were not published. Two of the Iranians hanged were convicted of killing a member of the al Saba ruling family a Kuwaiti man in his 70s and an Indonesian made in Salwa for robbery. The men committed the crime in 2016 and were handed the final conviction in 2019. Dozens of men and women are on death row as Kuwait has slowed down the pace of executions over the past two decades under pressure from rights groups calling for a freeze on executions. A Kuwaiti woman convicted of murdering her friend was saved from the gallows early on September 5 after a last-minute pardon by the victim's relatives. The hanged men included two Kuwaitis, three Iranians and a Pakistani. Some of the men were on death row for as long as five years. Two hours before the woman was supposed to be hanged, relatives of the victim pardoned her before the police, accepting blood money. In Islamic law, is the financial compensation paid to the victim or heirs of a victim in the cases of murder, bodily harm or property damage by mistake. It only applies when murder is committed by mistake and secondly the victim's family has the free consent to compromise with the guilty party. Islamic law treats homicide and unintentional homicide, not just bodily injury and property damage, as a civil dispute between believers rather than corrective punishment by the state to maintain order. In this case the victim's mother agreed to submit the waiver for Kuwait dinar 1 million. She went to the central prison in the evening, just a few hours before the scheduled execution, and formally declared her waiver. The public prosecutor then halted the execution. The woman was convicted of premeditated murder of her female friend at the victim's house by stabbing her several times after having breakfast together, in 2016.
the sources revealed that she is a divorced woman with children. The reason for the murder was not revealed. Kuwait hadn't held an execution since 2017, when it similarly carried out a mass execution of seven prisoners, including a ruling family member. Kuwait did not carry out executions from January 2017 until the 16th of November 2022, when it executed seven people for Kuwaiti men, a Syrian man, a Pakistani man, and an Ethiopian woman, claiming that this would deter crime. Executions are fairly rare in Kuwait, which has the world's sixth largest oil reserves. The last before 2017 were carried out in 2013, when a Pakistani, a Saudi, and a Bidun, a name used in the Emirate for people without citizenship were hung. The European Union immediately criticized the executions, which it said coincided with a visit by European Commission official Margaritas Shinas to the country. The EU calls for a halt to executions and for a complete de facto moratorium on carrying out the death penalty, as the first step towards a formal and full abolition of the death penalty in Kuwait. The EU said in a statement, calling the death penalty a cruel and inhumane punishment. There is no credible evidence that such executions by the state have a greater deterrent effect on crimes than prison terms. Amnesty International calls on the Kuwaiti authorities to immediately establish an official moratorium on executions with a view to abolishing the death penalty. Kuwait has not abolished the death penalty, nor has it limited the application of the death penalty to the most serious crimes. Although Kuwait began a de facto moratorium on the use of the death penalty in 2007, Authorities never codified the moratorium and Kuwait resumed executions in 2013. The Kuwaiti government also lacks transparency regarding its use of the death penalty, although according to public reporting, Kuwait has executed at least 24 individuals since 2013 and it is estimated that 54 individuals are currently on death row. In September 2024, Kuwait executed six individuals convicted of murder. Thank you for watching Death Row.